and I'm Lauren. We are so excited to be here lighting candles with you all today. So we're going to start by lighting the first candle that we lit last week, our candle of hope. And this week we're going to light the second candle with you, our candle of peace. Peace is being calm and restful. While our home is not always calm and restful, we are very excited for a season of just resting together and resting in knowledge that Jesus is King. And I hope that for your families as well. So we are praying for our family and all of your families this season that you would have a peaceful season. the cow and I'm uh, eating my dinner you can see that but they, they gave me this straw tonight instead of instead of hay so it's really dry didn't taste very good but I'll probably be here all night eating this stuff but anyway I'm really tired I'm worn out because it was a boozy night last night let me tell you so I got I gotta tell you the story there was this there was this there's guy and this woman and guy's name I think it was it was Joseph and the woman's name was Mary. And they came here to the barn. And let me tell you, it was like a hubbub you ain't never seen before. Because the animals are going crazy. We don't get things like this around here. But let me tell you, I didn't know what was going on. So what I did is I looked to my right and I asked the horse, I said, horse, what the heck is going on? And you know what the horse told me? The horse says, nay. 
Yeah, can you believe the horse said nay to me? Why don't you say it? Say it. I'll listen to you. Yeah, that's exactly how it was said. And you know what? I don't speak horse, so I don't even know what that was. So what I do? I look to my left, and there's a pig. And she's just uh, making all kinds of racket. And you know what she said? She said, oink. Why don't you try it? You, you say it. Say, oink. Yep, that's exactly what she sounded like. And you know what? I didn't understand a thing she said either because I don't speak pig. So you know what I did? Well, I went over to my horse, my, my horses, and I saw them, and then behind them was my cow friend Lenny. And I knew Lenny would know what was going on. And let me tell you, it was quite the thing. So I, I'll just I'll just I'll just pass it over and let, let let the story tell itself. So here you go. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. It's almost Christmas. Are you getting excited? Me too. And so are these people. So many Christmas cards to deliver today. But none more important than this one. It's our story mail. Are you ready for the next part of the true story of Christmas? Great, here we go. Okay, so the true story of Christmas began when an angel told a girl named Mary she was going to have a baby. And the baby was going to be super special because, drum roll please, he was God's son. That's right, God loves us so much that he gave us his son Jesus. Today's story is about when Jesus is born. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, it's Mary and Joseph. What's Mary riding on? Can you guess what animal that is? A donkey! You're right! What does a donkey say? Can you do it? Are you ready? Hee-haw! 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 Great job! Mary and Joseph needed an animal, like a donkey, to get to the town of Bethlehem. When they got to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. Joseph knocked on the door of an inn. Everybody knock with me. Ready? Knock, knock, knock! The innkeeper said there was no room for them inside, but they could stay in the stable out back. So Mary and Joseph had to sleep in a stable where all the animals stayed. Listen, what animals do you hear? It's a cow. That's right. Hmm. What's this one? A chicken. That's right. How about this one? A sheep. That's right. What about this one? That's not an animal. What is that? It's a baby. Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone do a whisper, yay. Ready? Yay. Mary wrapped the baby all up and put him in the manger. Wow, the most special baby in all the world had been born. This is why we celebrate Christmas. Jesus, God's son, was born. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Happy birthday, Jesus. See you next time. Uh, hello there, kids, core friends. Just waking up from another snooze after that long night last night. Let me tell you, Elsie the cow is worn out. Oh my gosh, there were some crazy things that happened in this, in this year barn last night. And all I did was I just sat here and ate straw all night. And um, there was this thing that went down here. Yeah, it was crazy. You see, this guy named Joseph and this lady named Mary, they came here and there was a baby that was born. His name was Jesus. 
oh my gosh, this place went bananas. Well, bananas isn't really right because these were animals making lots of crazy noises. It wasn't really bananas, but it was, it was lots of weird noises and stuff. And you know what? Right now, I want you to imagine if you were one of us, one of us animals. Why don't you make some crazy noises like, like you think was going on here to celebrate this here birthday? Yeah, make some noise. Well, you know what? You gotta make it a little bit bigger than that. So you gotta raise your hands in the air like you just don't care and go crazy because this was an amazing thing that happened here. Yeah, Jesus was born. And you know what was really cool about this event I got to see? is that Joseph and Mary and Jesus were there together as a family. And they shared in this time together and celebrated. And you know what? I want you to have the chance to do that with your family this week. So your Kids Core Challenge this week from Elsie the Cow is to get together with your family and do something fun together. You know, you might even just, you might just be making hot chocolate together and that's okay. But you gotta be sure you add some milk because uh, you know, Elsie right here, she's got to pay for the sort of college education for all her cats running around. So she needs some money and you need to use that milk in the, in the hot chocolate. So anyway, enough about that. But I'm telling you, you've got to do something with your family that's fun together. Just go out and take a walk or spend some time together. This is some amazing time. And when you're doing this, you can remember what it was like for Joseph and Mary and Jesus to be together as a family for the first time during that Christmas. Now, the other thing you could do is you could sing together. And you know, if you're like Elsie, you got this amazing singing voice, you could sing. And one of the things you might sing is, happy birthday to Jesus, right? So let's do it together. Let's practice. Why don't we practice more, okay? Hi, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. I'm sure you did a little better than me, but that is what you can do with your family is just remember that this season, this, this idea of Christmas, what we're doing, what we're celebrating, it's all about Jesus' birth. And that is the one thing we want you to remember during this time. So before we leave, let's, uh, let's say a prayer together and remember. Okay. Dear God, we're so thankful for Jesus. We're so thankful for this time when Jesus and Mary and Joseph were together as a family. We want to remember that this week as we go away, that we want to spend some time with our family just like they did in that barn so many years ago with those animals all around. Them. So as we leave now, let's just remember this time is about Jesus. Christmas is about Jesus. It's about spending time with our families and remembering this. And it is in His Son, in His name, Jesus, that we pray this, during this time. Amen. And now, it's time for Elsie to get back to her nap. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate.